Good morning on this uh, March 25th. Oh, wait a second. It's April 8th. But anyways, we're still celebrating the Feast of the Annunciation, which is supposed to occur on March 25th. But this year that landed on Monday of Holy Week. Um, and so instead of celebrating it during Holy Week and not celebrating it during the octave of the resurrection of Easter, the church, though, finds it so important that it doesn't want to skip this very important uh, solemnity. And so it gets pushed to today, Monday, April 8th. So we, we know in the Gospel of Luke that the story begins with the angel Gabriel going to Zechariah and pretty much telling Zechariah that the, that the motion, the, the wheels are beginning that was prophesied in the book of Daniel, where there was going to be a great leader that would arise after the four major kingdoms of Assyria, the Persians, the Greeks, and, and now the, currently the Romans. It starts with Zechariah and announcing of John the Baptist to get us prepared. And then the very next scene is today's gospel, where the angel Gabriel uh, visits a, a young simple woman and begins with the phrase hail full of grace and right there is the, the starting point for the church's belief in the uh, the sanctity of mary uh, of that that she is conceived without original sin uh, she's currently in the state of grace and full of it um, which then mary ponders as to you know what this all means you know in, in her humility uh, and, and really, yeah, humility, but also truth that Mary saw herself as need of a savior, just like the rest of us. And actually, that is true. That is the, the teaching of the church. Mary is still part of the, the, the fallen Adam, you know, uh, race. Um, just in her life, she was just had a very special singular grace to be free from uh, original sin so that she can be the ark the, the ark of the covenant to carry uh, the holiness and sanctity of God you know in her womb uh, again a place just like in the tomb where Jesus is laid in a tomb that no one else has been in laid in before and so in the womb of Mary you know our, our Lord is place where no one else has been placed before into a, the womb of a virgin of a, of a young of a young woman we also know and celebrate Mary's, what we call Mary's fiat. Behold, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. Notice how Mary is so disposed to the action and work of God. Even when the, the action of God is still very mysterious. as a, Mary ponders in her heart what it is that's going to be taking place you know, within her, within her body, uh, within her soul. Um, God is working, and even though there's so much mystery as to, you know, given birth, but yet remaining a virgin, how is all this going to happen? Uh, Mary gives that great permission that yes, and the story of our salvation continues on with that great yes of a, of a great woman, uh, the one who is our mother, the queen of all saints, uh, our very powerful intercessor in our life and, and our own mother, as we learned, you know, in uh, the Gospel of John in the parish narrative. You know, woman, behold your son. You know, son, behold your mother. Mary is our mother. And today we replicate her great yes to God and to the work, even when we don't understand it. May God bless you.